You know, I sure am glad that I'm not a Senate Republican right about now because whew, these Senate Democrats are warning them since they decided to rush through this illegitimate far-right Supreme Court nominee, there is going to be hell to pay. They're going to pay a price for this. They're going to regret this. So uh, what are Senate Democrats going to do to make them regret this? Fuck all. That's what. Fuck all. Nothing. Because they're not proposing any sort of plan. Some Senate Democrats are actually talking tough and specifically saying, we're going to kill the filibuster and expand the Supreme Court. Most Senate Democrats are not saying that. Now, maybe it's the case that they're playing coy until the election. I think that maybe they're holding their cards a little bit close to their chest. That's reasonable to assume, right? Uh, but they haven't proposed any real plan and the things that they're saying, it really tells us what we're in for. They will do nothing. But yet they're telling Republicans that uh, they're they're going to pay. So so what are they going to do specifically? Well, this article from The Hill, uh, written by Jordan Carney, lays it all out. Democratic senators are warning that Republicans will regret confirming Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court as the Democrats face pressure from the left to nix the filibuster and expand the court if they win back the majority. Okay, great. So uh, what are they what are they saying specifically? Quote, I know that there's a lot of speculation about what Democrats will do if Democrats are given control of the Senate. Will Democrats go to new extraordinary lengths to maximize their power given the extraordinary lengths Republicans have gone to maximize their power? Well, this is not a conversation that is ripe enough yet. <laughs> what do Republicans expect? Asked Senator Chris Murphy. Uh, quote, do we just unilaterally stand down and not choose to use the same tools that Republicans did in the majority? I think there are now new rules in the Senate, and I think Republicans have set them, he added. Okay. Uh, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, in a statement after Barrett's confirmation on Monday night, warned that Republicans will, quote, rue the day. <laughs> So stupid and corny. With this vote, my Republican colleagues forfeit their right to call procedural fouls, White House said. Ooh, I'm sure that they're terrified. Top Senate Democrats haven't said what they will do if they are back in the majority in January, with Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer saying everything is on the table as he tries to keep his party unified heading into the November 3rd election. Schumer, however, warned on Monday night that Republicans may have long-term regrets about their strategy. I doubt that. The Republican majority is lighting its credibility on fire. I'm sure that'll resonate with them. The next time the American people give Democrats a majority in this chamber, you will have forfeited the right to tell us how to run that majority, Schumer said. Oh no. Uh, my colleagues may regret this for a lot longer than they think. Mm, doubt. Senator Dick Durbin, Schumer's number two, agreed that Republicans would, quote, regret the consequences of taking the Senate down this path. So right out of the gate, even if they are holding their cards close to their chest and they're waiting to say anything until they see what the election results are, it's just so clear that they don't know how to play politics. They'll rue the day. They lit their credibility on fire. They're definitely going to regret this. How? How are you going to make them pay? What are you going to do to make them regret this? Be specific. I know they're going to write some more strongly worded letters and tweets and ask to speak to the Republican Party's manager. <laughs> Chuck Schumer is going to uh, pull down his glasses like this and he's going to look Mitch McConnell right in the eye and he's going to say, shame on you. Shame on you, sir. And then Mitch McConnell's going to laugh. <laughs> No, no, no. I know what they're going to do. Joe Biden, he's going to get elected. They're going to take back the Senate. And Joe Biden is going to commit to court packing. But there's a catch. Uh, rather than just adding six liberal justices to the Supreme Court, he adds three liberals and three Republicans. So that way, he did what the left wanted technically and expanded the size of the Supreme Court. But at the same time, he still makes sure that Republicans have that comfortable majority. I'm laughing uh, when I acknowledge this is not a laughing matter, but the Democratic Party is beyond parity. And trust me when I say they're not just going to willingly expand the court. That's not going to happen. We have to force them to do that. That's going to be tough. It's a pandemic. You know, mass resistance 
protests. That's not something a lot of people want to do, but we have to flood their phones. We have to make sure we do everything in our power to force them to fight because they have just rolled over and died. I mean, Trump got three Supreme Court justices. Look at how hard Republicans fought to stop Democrats from getting a majority on the Supreme Court. Mitch McConnell held open a Supreme Court seat for months. And now he rushed through one right before an election. And the best that you got is they're going to rue the day? How? What are you going to do? Are you actually going to kill the filibuster and expand the court? Are you going to add more states to the union so you have more Democratic senators? Are you going to make voting compulsory and, you know, stop voter suppression? What specifically are you going to do? So, you know, it's early. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, even though, spoiler alert, they're going to fuck this up. This is a feckless party. They are one of the worst opposition parties ever. I mean, if you look to um, democracies around the world, like Turkey, uh, you don't really see the rise of dictatorship or illiberal democracy unless all of the factors are in place for that to happen. You know, radicalization, desperation among the population, but most importantly, an ineffectual opposition party. That's exactly what Democrats are. They haven't just enabled Donald Trump and Republicans throughout the years. They have been complicit a lot of the time. So, you know, what they're saying now, I just, they're like all bark and no bite. And they're not even bark most of the time. Like, look at the confirmation hearings when Dianne Feinstein was basically, you know, she had her nose up Amy Coney Barrett's asshole the entire time and thanked Lindsey Graham and hugged him and exposed herself to COVID-19. I mean, I, I just... We have to expect the worst, and we can never assume that Democrats are going to just automatically do the right thing because they are cowards, they are feckless. So we have to make sure that if they take back the Senate, we make their lives a living fucking hell unless they listen to the left and they cave. Because they got us into this mess. So the best they can do is have a little bit of courage, just a little bit, and try to get us out of this mess. But... The prognosis, not great, based on what we're seeing now. I am not afraid of Donald Trump. I am not afraid of the Republicans. And we're going to hold their feet to the fire. I am actually excited. Judge Amy Coney Barrett confirmed in record time. You know... You, you, you know... You know the... You know the thing... thing. You're getting nervous, man, man.